Hey cuties and welcome back to Cutie Nails where everything we do here is all about nails. So today my sweet friends, I'm going to show you guys the two apps that I use when I am recording any of my nail videos, just like I'm recording this video today. So obviously I don't have like a big camera or anything like that so I just use my phone and I download the apps on my phone and my tablet respectively so I'm gonna start this screen recorder and then I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I use these apps to record my videos. This is live action here I have it open on my tablet and I'm just going through the screen recorder so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So it automatically pops up because both of the apps are open and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit remote control on my tablet and it's gonna prompt my phone to allow my tablet to remote support to my phone. So I'm just gonna allow that. And sometimes it doesn't always connect on the first try. So I'm gonna just hit remote control again. The allow button's gonna pop up and a secondary start button's gonna start for my phone to be supported by this tablet and show exactly what's on there. So this is my setup when I'm doing nails. I have my desk lamp here. I have my ring light and extra soft box light and I have this larger one which you guys saw recently. I have my Archon mount set up. I just place my phone here and it's angled down to where I can, you know, record whatever it is I'm doing. But my tablet is where I'm able to see what's going on on my phone because the position that the phone is in, I'm not able to see exactly what's going on when I'm sitting but I'm able to see what I'm doing from my tablet if I'm in frame and all that good stuff. So I've already showed you guys the apps that I use, um, but I'm not gonna be able to show you guys, you know, how it's gonna work on here as of yet, but I'll just kinda just go through the motions so you can see exactly what I use. So Team Viewer again is on my tablet and the Team Viewer Quick Support is on my phone. So I'll just open it up and it automatically pops up with the actual control number on both my phone and my tablet. But because I'm not using the app on my phone right now, I'm recording, it's not gonna automatically pop up, but it is always in the history. So I just click on that particular number and then I will go ahead and hit remote control. And at that point is when it'll say, you know, trying to connect a connection requested. And on my phone is where I would go through and set up that connection. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start that real quick, start another screen recorder and, and show you guys much what, that what I get cuties whenever I remote into my tablet. Now I like to keep my phone horizontally so that way I have a bigger screen, but because I was moving things around to kind of get the right, you know, video for you guys, the right parts of this video so you guys can see, it's showing a lot smaller, but it is much bigger when I do everything in screen record with my phone facing down at the nails and in a horizontal plane, this screen is much bigger. But I'm able to see exactly what is going on. Everything is in frame. I have my camera set up to have like all the lines and stuff, the grid lines for the frame. And I'm able to see everything I need to see. Um, I can control the camera from here, but sometimes that doesn't work when it's this small. So when it's much larger, I'm able to kind of like hit the pause button, hit the play button, and all that good stuff. And that is pretty much how I... And there you have it. That is how I use the Team Viewer and Quick Support app in order to record my videos. If you have any questions, put it in the comment box below. Bye!